So now that we've enabled uh, working with a macro, it's time to actually work with a macro. Uh, one of the big things that we can focus in on here is the idea that we can actually record our tasks and then actually kind of automate that process out for ourselves. So one of the things you notice inside of this code section is this record macro button. Now when I click on this, what this is actually going to do is now it's going to ask me how do you, what do you want to do? Like what do you want to name this macro? What do you want to do with it? Well say for example, just to kind of see it, this guy right here, this is a receipt, right? So I want to go ahead and have this be the only thing that gets printed out and I want to export it out as a PDF uh, all in one motion, all in one thing. So what I can do is I can call this PDF receipt and now I actually can give it a shortcut key. I can actually say that if uh, the user, for example, were to hold control R, R for receipt, what that's going to do is suddenly that's going to activate our macro. Now we haven't made it yet. We actually are about to. As soon as I hit OK, notice what appeared up here. Suddenly, stop recording. When I finish doing whatever I'm doing, I would click stop recording because that's going to now kind of bundle it up into a nice little bow. So the first thing I want to go ahead and do is I'm going to go ahead and click, hold, and highlight my area. Now again, like I said, this is sort of my uh, this is the receipt. This is what I want to have printed out. Now, again, I have to actually specify that. Right now, I've just highlighted out my information. This is the only thing I want to print out. Well, if we venture way back to you know the earlier days of Excel, we talked about the print layout section, and we had this print area section. Now, if I come in here and I say set print area, what that's going to do is now, because this is the only thing highlighted, if I come into print uh, preview, that's the only thing that's going to get printed. So suddenly, that allows me to now have this one area printed. Now just to kind of do a little bit more, I want to center this just to kind of make it look a little cleaner. So I can actually come into my page setup section and I'm going to make my margin so that it is centered horizontally on the page. Notice it's a little horizontal. And I'm going to give it a custom header of registration receipt. Now when I hit OK, again, all I've done is formatting. I still have to do the action of printing this out, exporting it as a PDF, for example. So lastly, I would come in and go to File, Export, and you notice here I can change, uh, create a PDF. Once I say create PDF, I give it a name. For example, I'm going to call it receipt.pdf. And for me, I'm going to save it to my desktop. I like to save things to the desktop. And I'm going to hit publish. Now, as you can see, it pulled up and it's uh, going to give me a sneak preview of one for me. The last thing I have to do is I need to come in here again to developer and say stop recording. Now inside of my macros section I can actually see I have that available to me. Let's actually give it a shot. Let's change this from uh, myself to uh, Susan. Susan is of the uh, I don't know U7 leagues. Uh, she wears a small and her sock size is small, I guess. I, I don't know sock sizes, so I'm going to assume that's small. And we'll go ahead and say that uh, Susan's parent is also James Smith as well. But she didn't register on time. Ooh, she didn't register on time. So now we have that entire setup. So again, if I go through my process, I can either click record macro, I'm oh, sorry, not record macro, I can run the macro and say to run it, or because we specified a keyboard shortcut, I'm going to go ahead and hold control and I'm going to press R. Look at all the stuff that happened there on the fly. Suddenly I have Adobe Acrobat Reader up with Susan's receipt ready, and just in case you guys can't see it, Oh, you guys can't even, uh, let's see, screen 
two monitor screen two. Here's that receipt. As soon as I open it up, there's Susan. Beautiful.